Hey guys, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. We're home from work, my first day back to work for over a week. I've been traveling around with mom and dad and we're home in Tennessee and we're making a fast delicious dinner tonight. It is a chicken stir fry. I call this chicken stir fry for the win. Ricky's excited to be home and he's really excited that I'm home and I'm gonna cook instead of him having to fend for himself. He's been doing that for a solid week, bless his heart. He's a good, good man. All right, guys, we are going to put in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of avocado or olive oil, whichever you prefer, to a skillet. We're going to get it hot, and we're adding some onion. So I'm doing a small chopped onion. You can do as much or as little as you want to. Guys, this is a fast, delicious dinner. The only thing I've done without you guys is I've chopped up my onion, I'm slicing some cabbage, and I also cooked some chicken. So I took chicken breasts, cut them into cup chunks, seasoned it with salt, pepper, and paprika. And I just cooked this in the skillet with a tablespoon of butter. So I've got some chicken chunks over here ready to go. And then I use a small head of cabbage because I don't want a lot of leftovers. And I'm just slicing that cabbage into small thin strips because when you're making a stir fry, it cooks much, much faster if you cut your vegetables small. So a lot of stir fries will call for um, peppers and onions and you know a lot of steak and cheese. Instead, we're making a chicken cabbage stir fry. We're not putting carrots in there. We're not putting peppers in there. All we've got is onion and we've got some garlic we're about to add. We've got our chicken and we've got cabbage. So very few ingredients, which is always appealing to me because I like to cook super fast with very few ingredients. So we've got our cabbage sliced up over here, ready to go in the skillet in just a few minutes. We're gonna cook these onions until they start to get soft and I'm gonna see them brown. And we cook the onions again in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of avocado or olive oil. And we're going to add some garlic in just a minute. Now I like to use fresh garlic. You can use garlic powder if you'd like to. Guys, I sure have missed my kitchen and I miss you guys. Hey Kathy, how are you? I haven't cooked in a week because I've been traveling with my parents. And I am definitely glad to be home. I offered to cook them some dinner tonight, but mom stopped at the store and got some chicken. Dad started back chemo today. So he is super excited about getting started back on chemo. That's crazy, isn't it? Most people do not wish for chemo, but my dad was very excited to get started back on chemo today because it made him feel better last time, which again is crazy because most chemos do not make you feel better. But he's going back to his very first chemo regimen, and we're praying so hard. Guys, please pray so hard that this chemo treatment works again because cancers are so stubborn and so smart. And the doctor did warn us that because it worked so well before, the cancer could be super wicked smart and decide that it's not going to allow it to work this time. So we are praying for this chemo treatment to work. And I mean, my dad is so excited about being back on treatment. So we have a plan. The plan is the chemo is gonna work. We're praying hard, hard, hard that this chemo is gonna work for my dad so it will shrink that tumor again and that his bilirubin will come back to normal again so that he can move to the next phase of a treatment plan. And the only way that it will be able to move to the next phase is if this chemo works. So guys, if you will pray, Fervently for my dad, Joe Grace. Pray nonstop that this chemo works, that the doctors know what they're doing, and that we are trusting in them and the Lord. All right, so we're cooking this onion up, and it is smelling good. Now, I'm using a small onion. I just chopped it into small pieces. You can make it super small or keep them lengthwise if you want to. But we're just letting that... Uh, that onion cooked for a couple minutes till it turns brown. Now we're gonna add in some garlic. You can use garlic powder later if you want to, but I'm gonna use some fresh minced garlic and you can do as much or as little as you want. As a matter of fact, you can do the fresh garlic and some garlic powder if you wanted to. I'm just gonna throw in some fresh garlic and we'll taste it later to see if I want more. And then next we're going to add in the cabbage. Now I'm using a small head of cabbage for just me and Ricky. It's just the two of us gonna eat this. And it's almost the weekend, so I don't want tons of leftover. We're gonna take whatever is left to work tomorrow and that will be our lunch if we get hungry at work. I might have some leftover if there's any left for tomorrow night, but I don't want to be eating on this all weekend long. 
We've got family plans this weekend, hopefully. We're going to be making them very soon because I'm excited to be home with my family to see my son and my daughter. So we're hoping to have us a family feast this weekend. All right, we just stirred in the garlic. Can you guys see that okay? We stirred in the garlic, and we're just letting that garlic... Oh, man, that garlic smells so good. It smells so good. Now we're going to put in that um, cabbage. I couldn't remember what it's called. I told you how tired I am. So we're going to add in the cabbage, guys. I cut it super fine because I want it to cook fairly quickly. And now we've got to season our vegetable. Now, for this stir fry, I'm going to be using the exact same ingredients as I did on the chicken. So we're going to season it with salt, with some pepper, and some paprika. So let me throw on some pepper. I love salt and pepper on my cabbage. And this stir fry, guys, if you haven't tried it yet, you are going to love it. Like, seriously, you're going to absolutely love it. The link is in this post. As soon as I finish this live video, you will see access to the recipe. And it's so easy. So we got salt, we got pepper, and we got some paprika. If you want to measure it, two to three tablespoons should be enough. I like to measure with my heart. I like to see the flavors that I add in seasonings. And now we're going to, you hear that sizzling? I mean, it sounds like there's not a lot of oil left. So we're gonna go ahead and add us some avocado oil because we don't want this to stick. You can add some more butter too if you want to. And then we are going to put the top on this because cabbage will cook much, much faster if you have it covered. And you definitely wanna stir it every once in a while because we don't want it to burn. We don't want the uh, onions and the garlic to burn. So you wanna stir it up every once in a while. And this is going to be so delicious. And the last thing we're going to do after the cabbage is soft and wilted to the way you like it. I like my cabbage super soft. We are going to add the chicken back to the skillet. And that's it. So we've got cabbage. We've got an onion. We seasoned it with salt, pepper, and paprika. We uh, sauteed our onion in two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of avocado oil. I just added some more oil. And then we've got our chicken chunks over here that will be ready to add in at the very end. And we just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and paprika. So that will be ready to add to the skillet at the very end. Simple ingredients, simple seasonings, but very tasty. Oh, I forgot we had garlic in the onion. Let me put this up real quick and we'll see if you guys have questions for me. Fast, easy, delicious dinner. Let's see, let's see if you guys have questions. Thank you so much for all the prayers. Keep them coming, seriously. We are just praying so hard that this cancer works, or this cancer, this chemo works for the cancer again. And if it doesn't, we've got another plan in our back pocket, but it's just gonna be so much easier if it works. So if it works, we're gonna keep with the treatment until the sh tumor shrinks some more and his bilirubin gets back to normal because it's really high today. And then we will be going to Maryland. If it all works the way that we're planning, we'll be in Maryland in a few months to get a infusion pump placed in Dad. So just keep praying, keep praying. We're praying hard. All right, this is gonna be so delicious. If you haven't tried it before, you've got to try it out. I promise you're gonna love it. If you've tried it before, give me some hearts and share this video. Give me some hearts right now. If you've tried this recipe before, it's the chicken stir fry. So delicious right now. We're just going to let that cabbage cook down. I'm covering it so it'll cook a little faster. Definitely stir it every once in a while. And hey, Amanda, how are you? Oh, girl, I'm always stocked up on that, Tammy. Um, you're so welcome. Anytime you guys need me for anything, that's what I'm here for. Just send me a message. I want to help you. If you're new to my page and you've not ever gotten my getting started tips, I would love to share them with you. Put getting started in the comments. And I'm going to send you some tips that are going to help you get started. It's going to help you create healthy habits that create success. I've been doing the same thing for five years, five solid years. And I have maintained my fat loss for over five years, and it feels great. So if you need those tips, put getting started. Hey, Gloria, I'm fixing to check that website again and give you a call. And we're just going to let this stir fry cook, stirring occasionally, and we're going to serve it hot. If you want to add more seasonings, you can, but it's just not necessary. It is absolutely delicious. The simple way I just showed you how to cook it, man, that's hot. The simple way I just showed you how to cook it is all you need. And um, you're just going to cook it until it reach the, reaches the softness you want. Add your chicken back to the skillet. And guys, have fun with the recipe. This is mine, but you actually can add more or do something different and make it your own. But it's delicious. All right, let me put this top back on. 
I just wanted to see if you guys had quick questions and I don't see them coming through. So I'm gonna jump off here and start cleaning this kitchen up and guess what else I'm going to do? I'm gonna throw on some shorts and get in that backyard because we moved from 60 degree weather in Minnesota back to 80 something. So we're gonna get out in the backyard, enjoy uh, just walking around, listening to the birds. I might even put my toes in the pool, who knows? All right, guys, thank you so much. Y'all have a great night. And if I can help you in any way, just send me a message. Bye.